also heard of studies there omega-3 starvation made no difference to the animals of course that's epidemic yeah basically it's just associated data um and certain animals actually can endogenously produce certain things even you know they don't have an essential fatty acid or you know it's like a number of animals can produce a certain level like dogs for instance they could actually produce more taurine so when you give the dog as an example you give them basically det deuterium depleted water like ddw um 25 you lower their damage for the but you've given them enough taurine to support their melatonin production and also to heal and repair the electron chain so you can restore so this is why when they give deuterium depleted water to humans without the taurine it doesn't work as well and they go i wonder why it's not working the missing ingredient is taurine we don't synthesize enough that's the difference that's why I put people on depleted deplete, depleted deuterium protocols plus taurine. They work synergistically. But in the dogs, dogs produce quite a lot endogenously, where the cats produce hardly any. Go figure. It's just the way it is. Because um, dogs do not eat organ meats and stuff like, stuff like that. The cats do. That's why they get it from there. They don't have to synthesize it themselves. Dogs don't because they eat more muscle meat. They get less. Even but even dogs, it helps them. You know, they still don't produce optimal, but they still produce far more than humans and and way more than cats. That's the difference, and that is why when they do the dog um, depleted terium protocol, it works. Cancer recedes. And they go, mm. but they still can't figure out the missing link is taurine. You know, that's where my hypothesis comes in about how all this works together. Anyway, there'll be more information in that regards to that. So we've got to be very careful with, with rat studies or cat or other animals because there is, well, in terms of the way the mitochondria work in all mammals and all practically all species on the planet, it's all the same because it was produced a very long time ago but the way so at that macro micro level a lot of the machinery and all that in the cell in the mitochondria are very similar more or less the same but at the macro level in the body where you've got complex metabolic pathways um the genetics in terms of transcription factors in terms of different nutrients or conversion pathways the way things get converted those are not always similar between animals and that's why the dietary stuff is crap and that's why some of the sort of uh, pharmacokinetics is also wrong because the way they metabolize certain drugs is not that's why they do initially with animals and then that sometimes they do with humans and they fail oops oops that animal's metabolizing it slightly different. Again, reductionist thinking gets you into trouble. So you've got to be very careful. You have to understand the difference. At the micro level, a lot of cell level and mitochondrial level, yes, we're all all organism, eukaryotic. That's why they're called eukaryotic cells. They, we all share them, all animals and all that. But once you get into complex systems, those complex systems work differently between themselves so that's why all my mechanistic studies you probably notice that i do is i look at specific pathways directly in the mitochondria directly into the cell to or to show directly these sort of things that affects why because there are going to be a lot of similarities with other with humans and other species but certain pathways they're going to be different so you can't look at those studies you have to ignore them and say well we don't really have any studies for that part because we have it for animals, but we don't have it for humans. So, and that's where knowledge comes into play in understanding the difference between why one study is credible and applicable in a sense, that's the better word, applicable to humans potentially, and another isn't. Because our meta the way our body's machinery works is slightly differently transcripted and determined by slight different variations and though 
differences in the genes, the way these hormones and everything else works in our body compared to their body. So we've got to be very careful the way we look at studies.